Trust Vital for your family's health. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Express on SABC. Now, of course, that time of the year when I think a lot of scholars, of course, are focusing in trying to get their, their academics in order as it starts off in the year. And now we're going to be talking about something that might be an ingredient, the secret ingredient that makes a difference between an A and an A+. Plus. Those are my words, maybe something, something different <laughs> from Andrea's mouth. Good morning, how are you? Good, thanks to you. Lovely, lovely. So, I mean, I think we've been talking so much about this ingredient, omega-3 fatty acids, that I think it's coming out of our ears now. But if it were, we'd all be geniuses. But anyway, um, how important really is it to children's learning ability? You know, it's, um, I'm glad you asked that because they've done research yeah. um, that not only we, we know that omega-3 forms part of our brain cells. So for optimal functioning of the brain, we need omega-3 in our diets. I mean, that's well established. Yes. But um, they've been looking into the almost therapeutic benefit of omega-3 in children with learning difficulties. Um, and they've done a number of studies that have shown really good results. Um, as an example, for instance, they've done a study on little babies showing mm -hmm. that if the, their intake of omega-3 is optimal, it improves their learning ability. Wow. Um, so from a very young age. But I think even more important, and which is relevant now with schools starting yes. and all of that, they've done a study that shows that um, children that suffer, uh, not suffer, that, that struggle with reading, yes. um, and especially the children that have low levels of omega-3, did so much better and had improved um, learning ability with reading wow. um, after taking supplements. So really so important to start your child off on omega-3 as soon as possible. That's right, yes. Yeah. So it, re it really actually, it, it, I mean, wow, especially in a country where reading is a very, very big problem at our schools, exactly, yeah. this can only be beneficial. Look, I mean, if you look at reading ability, there's lots of factors that would contribute to a child, um, child's performance, but one of them being nutrition. Yes. And at least that's something that we can control. That's you know? true, very, very so to make sure that the brain has correct amounts of the right nutrients. Okay. So now, the question is, where do we get it from then? then? Well, um, fish. Mm -hmm. um, the, the best source of the omega-3 fatty acids always is fish. Still is fish. So what we've got here is a tin of sardines, and we also have salmon spread. You know the fish base that we used to have on toast? Yes. They also make some with salmon now. Okay. Which is, it's very tasty, mm -hmm. but it's also very rich in omega-3 fatty acids that uh -huh. provide these building blocks for the brain cells. And they talk about the DHA and the EPA, um, and those are the particular nutrients. So both tin sardines and um, the fish um, spread, or specifically the one made with salmon, are good foods to feed your child to make sure that you optimize the intake yeah. of omega-3s. Yeah. But not all children like fish. Of course not. Yeah, of yes. course not, especially in, in its different forms. But I, I can almost hear a, a parent at home now saying, but is, you know, is it too late for my child to take omega-3? Is there still time? When is the, the, the most optimal time for a parent to give that supplementation to? Well, um, obviously as soon as possible, but it's never too late. Because yes. even in adults, they've shown that if you don't have sufficient levels of omega-3 and you um, start increasing your dietary intake, yeah. but it also helps optimize your brain functioning. Oh, um, so maybe then you so can it's, teach it's the old dog too late. Trick, so. Trust me. Yes. <laughs> All right, so as you said, not everybody likes fish. Yes. Not even kids, not everybody likes fish. So what are the alternatives? Well, um, Vital came up with something unique. It's the first in South Africa. It's a sherbet with omega-3, and I'd like you to taste it. So obviously it's in a convenient format for kids to take in their lunch boxes. Is this like, a, is this like a, a, a fish oil? It's... Well, you, you tell me what you taste. Are you serious about this? <laughs> All right. You're so brave, you know? You just taste anything that I give to you. <laughs> it's lucky. <it. laughs> wow. So do you wow. taste fish? Not at all. Because that is a fish oil that is transformed into a sherbet. Okay. And, um, I mean, I can't taste the fish at all. So, so the, obviously there are, are flavorants in there. Yes, but yes. Aren't, aren't flavorants unhealthy? Well, naturally, we, we put um, healthy flavorants in here, so it's, it's fruit flavors okay. and also low GI um, sweetening agents. Um, so it, it's really a unique formula. I still can't believe that you can't taste the fish. Wow. And it's a high potency omega-3 supplement. So it's ideal for young children. For mm -hmm. babies, you can mix it into their yogurt or porridge or whatever you, you would like to do there. And it's so tasty. Yes. It's oh really my goodness. Tasty. So how, how much of this would, would you be looking to give to your child? Well, uh, a, a child sort of um, um, going to preschool or um, early school years would probably have one sachet per day. Okay. So it comes in a box with 30 sachets. And to get the same amount of what's in one of those sachets, you can either eat a heaped teaspoon of the salmon paste wow. or half a tin of those sardines. 
So it's not unrealistic to yes. get your omega-3 through the diet, but sometimes it tastes better in a fruity sherbet format. And trust me, yeah, this is <laughs> way, way better. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to you know, innovations coming out from the uh, Vital Stable. I mean, if you're making sherbet that tastes good and is actually healthy, I can't imagine yeah, what else is Yeah, and it's made out. from fish oil. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, Andrea, thank you very, very much. And of course, if people would like to ask more questions, they're welcome to do so on your page, right? Yes, um, I've been receiving lots of questions and um, please send more. I mean, um, there are so many um, confu confusing things about nutrition. Mm -hmm. So especially moms with kids at school, you're welcome to post questions. And it's on my Facebook page, Andrea Duplessis, Vital Expert. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should do something for the sport kids out there, hey? Yes. We'll do that next time. Mm -hmm. Well, I think if we speak about someone who definitely had a lot of omega-3 fatty acids while growing up, it's Grant Hines, because he's turned out to be like this computer whiz kid. He's awesome. Grant, what's happening? Trust Vital for your family's health.